Hey everybody, welcome to Arizona Drone. My name is Rich Charpentier. I'm Greg Riverdio. And today we're going to talk about something interesting and slightly controversial at the tail end. But um, yesterday, AirMap just came out with a new tool where you can fly your drone from the AirMap application. So it's just like DJI Go 4, or it's just, well, it's not just like, because I think they're still missing some, some features, but it's the same idea as what you do with DJI Go 4, and the same idea as what you do with Litchi, which is essentially being able to fly your drone. Their biggest thing, the, the biggest addition at this stage, is the fact that you can see live airspace updates as you're flying. Sort of, yeah. So um, the idea. we actually, we're going to include on here, yesterday we did a test flight, so I want to give you a heads up right away. The wind came up out of nowhere right when we set the drone down. So there are some areas in there where I've actually cut the audio out, and there's some other areas where the wind just hits it. But it's really short and quick. We actually show you connecting the, um, connecting the DJI drone to our iPhone and turning on air map and air map immediately recognizes that we've got the drone hooked up and it actually walks us through what looks like part of lance yes so the application if you've seen the video that we've uh, that we've made about the lance tutorial and how to submit a lance application it's the same idea they're asking you questions about are you registered? Is your drone registered? Are you, do you have an anti-collision light if you're going to be flying at dusk or at night? Uh, do you have, is what, what's the weight of the airplane? What speed are you going to be flying at? What altitude are you going to be flying at? So they're basically getting you ready for lands and getting, asking all these questions before you can submit what they call the flight plan before you can submit your authorization. I kind of like that, that step a little bit. It's, it's a little bit painful because you're going to have to go through this and make sure you review everything. But that's really the way a flight should be. You should be checking all the facts before you take off and not get in trouble, right? Yep, yep. Uh, when I came back inside after it, I was looking around AirMap, and so Greg and I both noticed something right away, which is, which is one of our issues with AirMap and all the other apps. So, you know, there's so many apps out there for drones, and none of them are complete. Uh, it's air maps doing Lance um, Skyward is doing Lance nothing is fully complete with any of these and what I mean by that is when I took a look on the map and I scrolled over toward Granite Mountain they did have a little text box in there the Granite Mountain Wilderness however when I dragged myself over there my icon over there to see if I could fly it gave me a green thumbs up that I could fly it, that is a no-fly zone here in Prescott with the Peregrine Falcons. And when you look at Sky Vector, when you look at the sectional charts, that is a wilderness area. It's blocked off. So if I depended on AirMap only, if that was my go-to app, which it's not, um, I could get myself in trouble there. Yep, you'd get a fine from the Forest Service. Or... So here's what it looks like when you use the AirMap app. So this is an extra special thing. So we're going to wait a minute for this to come up. The reason why I'm doing this video is because AirMap just announced earlier today that you can now fly with the AirMap app. So is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? I'm not really sure, but the fastest way to find out is to actually give it a try. All right, so here I am, and I've got a safe to fly. Check your brief. Check, tap here to check compliance and authorization before you fly. So it's a little breezy. I do apologize for the wind. I'm using a lav mic right now. And I've got a safe to fly right now. And I'm going to be flying within a thousand feet. So, okay. And I've got a menu. I've got clothes. I've got an air map symbol with an exclamation point. So compliance evaluation, FAA part 107 certified and rules you may be violating do not fly in a class e airspace do not fly in a class d i do have my um my authorization so i'm good there so it's just giving me the rules that i should review that's a lot of rules okay so they're talking to us is your drone registered yes it is the pilot in command must have a remote pilot with a small uas rating has the pilot yes i have do not fly in twilight. Does the drone have anti-collision lighting right now? No, it does not. Have I done my pre-flight check for airworthiness? Yes, I have. 
The flight must be operated within visual line of sight. Is the flight occurring in visual line of sight? Yes, it is. Do not fly faster than 100 miles per hour. I'm going to try to not do that because I don't want to wreck into anything. So what's the maximum speed of the flight? I'm going to... I'm go, I mean, these are the yeah, same I'm going to pop for, it up to 20. Uh, for lands. And, okay, visibility is okay. Uh, do not fly drones that weigh over 55 pounds. My Mavic has not grown that much. So, do not fly at night. Class B, C, D. Once again, I apologize for the wind, everybody. All right. So, we are good. And there's nothing else to submit here, so I'm going to go back. And that was my compliance evaluation. I'm going to close. So I think we're looking good. It's got the notification. And we can pull up our screen. So looking at the screen, this looks very much like DJI Go 4. And it looks very much like many other applications. We've got a menu over on the right-hand side. Okay, so there's our photo stuff going on. And then we also have if we're in auto or manual. So we're missing a couple buttons here that I can see. And then we've got to close. Let's go ahead and... Submitting air map flight plan. Oh, submitting the air map flight plan. Very interesting. Huh? I'm just getting buzzed here. Can I fly? Very windy. I have successfully launched with air map. So that's the map again. All right. Let's go ahead and bring that back. And go figure, the wind picks up the moment that we want to test this out. Okay, would you like to end this flight? Yes, I would. All right, the flight is over and air map is doing its thing. I'm going to go ahead and shut the air map down and we're going to talk more about this from in the studio where it's not windy. So now that you've seen what the AirMap app does, we're looking for your comments. We, if you want to download it and, and take a look at it and play with it. So let us know what you think in the comment section and if you think that this is a, a great step forward or if it's just kind of eh, another, just another app. Yeah, the interesting thing here, the, the thing that I took away from this is they've now integrated flight into the AirMap planner. So, you know, who is to say what's coming next? Um, you know, the restrictions in there. Um, what's well, locking you out from an airspace could be possible. Um, well, it's one of the question discussion that we had yesterday is where is this going? And where is AirMap and the other app going with, with the authorization? Is this something that's going to be provided for free? At one point, there was talks about providing this with a fee attached mm -hmm. to it. And, and nobody's done it yet because I think they're waiting for the first person to do it and then all of them will do it. But I think... And, and right now, there's not a lot of options. So here it is from my personal perspective. We've got a couple of choices and I, I don't really like all of the choices. We don't have much choice yet. For Lance, so you've got AirMap, you've got Skyward.io. Um, there are supposed to be some other companies out there in reserve that are going to be coming online with this too. Now, I will bring up, we had said in a previous episode, um, some drone pilots are really not fans of AirMap. And that AirMap was backing the Feinstein bill last year. So we're not going to get deep into that. But the bottom line was um, there was an idea that each town could regulate its own airspace when it comes to drones. Um, that is a very bad idea. That would be like having to get a driver's license for every town you drive through. That would be like getting a car registration for every town you drive through. What does that do? That kills commerce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would, that would kill the business. And, and not only that, but I think adding, if, if this ever comes a, becomes a, a paid model, then it's going to be trouble because we've We've seen this in, in Europe with general aviation, where you have to pay for every single flight that you do. You have to go to an airport, you pay for the controller, and they have your tail number and they know exactly who you are, and they're gonna, you're gonna get a bill in the mail. I've, I've done that, did part of my flight training in France. We would go shoot approaches at airports, and then you'd get a bill in the mail when you landed on the runway. 
And uh, that just kills general aviation. And the last thing that we need is to add another fee on top of this for people to fly. Now, there's been cities in the U.S. that have done that already. Orlando, for example, is a city where if you want to fly inside the city of Orlando, you have to apply for a permit. And that's a paid permit. And then that's the that's the way that they're going to make extra bucks by yeah. having you fly your drone inside and, the city. But that's not really in compliance with the FAA. Last year's uh, Singer case in Newton, Mass., showed, you know, the FAA controls airspace right now. So cities and towns doing this, um, they really don't have the authority to do it. And that's been proven in a court case. But things are moving so fast right now that, you know, we we don't know what's going to roll out next. So in the end, coming back to um, what we were talking about, you know, air map with this new feature, we're not telling you, oh, you should run out and use this or you should not use this. It's up to you to try it out, but we just wanted to let you know there's a new feature in AirMap. Um, you can fly from it. You can see the airspace, and AirMap is going to be one of the providers that allows you to do Lance uh, in the very near future where you can get authorizations in place same day. Yep. And you may not live in the Lance area right now. Um, like we do in Prescott, we don't have Lance yet, but it's coming April 30. So April 30, we're going to have to start submitting Lance application every time we fly in the airspace. And you live in the airspace right yep. in the middle of it. So you're going to have to do that every single time you fly. So it, it's time now, even if you don't have Lance in your area just yet, take a look at it. Take a look at the tutorial that we have and also play with these and find out what you like and find out how it's going to work for you because it's coming. There's a schedule with the FAA. They've, they've scheduled the whole entire United States in different segments, and that's going to be coming out uh, to a theater near you very soon. Yeah, you can't ignore it, so give it a whirl. All right, that's it. That wraps it up. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like if you like this video and follow us so you get all the different updates of new videos. We're going to have a little schedule coming up pretty soon of releasing videos with tutorials and with this easy drone talk. So stay posted and we'll give you more information very soon. Yeah, and fly safe.